Hey, welcome back everybody. My name is Nolan Reed. I'm from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. And here's another Profitech Go and DF64P workflow video. Right now I'm just setting up my scale and I'm taking out my Atmos vacuum canister. I use this to keep my beans nice and fresh. We're gonna weigh out the 20 grams in right now with those nice beautiful beans that I got from Manchester Coffee here in Hamilton, Ontario. They're a single origin bean from Yunnan. Absolutely amazing. Chocolate notes, nutty notes, nice bold flavors. It is a medium roast with lots, lots, and lots of flavor. Check them out online, manchestercoffee.com. They haven't sponsored me, but I love them. I order online. They roast it the same day and deliver it right to my house. It's perfect. So you can see here I'm taking out the air from the canister by spinning that lid. You can see the little green mark showing me that I have a good vacuum seal. So right now I'm going to add a little bit of spritz of water to my beans. This is called the Ross droplet technique. We're going to add the water to those beans so that way when I turn on this grinder, which is the DF64P, it's going to reduce the static and it's going to make sure that I get all those beans beautifully into that cup, into that protein cup. So this grinder I've had now for about a year, year and a half, it has a, about a 0.1 of a gram retention rate. It works really, really, really well. Uh, it is strictly though, just for espresso. If you guys get the chance, I'd like you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow along, and to watch me on my espresso journey. All right, so I'm using the WDT tool, which has got a bunch of needles on the bottom. It takes all the clumps out of the coffee and evenly distributes it across the top of the portafilter. I'm also using my Normcore distributor, pushing all that puck down, and my Normcore tamper, which has about a 15 pound load on it. And I'm also putting in a puck screen just to keep the top of my shower screen nice and clean, and it helps distribute that water across the top of the puck. So here we are, we're setting up that scale and my beautiful cup that I got from Niagara Falls, Ontario. So we got 20 grams in, I'm gonna look for 40 grams out in about 30 seconds or so. So here we go. If you guys get the opportunity, please like and subscribe, follow me on my espresso journey. I would really appreciate it. If you get a chance, check out my latest playlist. I'm going around to other coffee shops in the GTHA and uh, give them a review. So check those videos out, leave a comment below if you want me to check out any coffee shop in your neighborhood. Here we go, we got our 40 grams. Lose the scale. We'll take out that shower screen and drop that old puck out of there. All right, let's get rid of that WDT tool. You can make one of those at home if you like with an old wine cork and some acupuncture needles. There's lots of tutorials online. Give the scale a nice wipe down. And I'll put it away. I got a Husky tool bench for all of my coffee needs. I used to have a smaller workbench, but uh, I found this worked really great. I got the idea from It's Chris. Check him out on YouTube. I'll leave a link below. So I'm following the Profitech manual right now to purge that water out of my boiler. It's a single boiler unit and I'm trying to make some room for steam. So they ask, purge that water out a little bit, two five second blasts. And you'll see me take some of that water, I put it on my rag, it helps me clean my steam one when I'm done. There we go, we'll turn the steam on, start frothing that milk. You hear me pull it out there, I'm adding air to it, which gives it that nice texture that you're looking for. And then I bury it deep, and you can see the turbulent flow I got in there. I find if I keep it on the neck and just tilt my cup ever so slightly, I get that nice turbulent flow. Lots of steam pressure out of this machine. It works absolutely wonderful. So... 
As I've said before in a couple of my other videos, I am very new to latte art. Uh, I used to drink just straight espresso or a long black, and uh, it does take some time to get used to. So follow along and see how I do today. The biggest thing I found is to slow down. When you watch people pour them on 